Boom, what's up my legion of leasers, my army of apartment maniacs, how's everybody doing? You guys doing good? Yes. Good, good. What's working, what's not working, what questions do you have for moi? How can I help you become more skillful? Is there anything in particular that uh, you guys are struggling with right now or anything in particular that is really working for you and you wanna share with the group? Let it rip. It's your time. We need to get the traffic in the door. Yeah. We need to get we need to get the traffic in the door, okay? So let's talk about that a little bit. How are we getting in the traffic? How are we getting the traffic in the door right now? What are you saying to get the traffic in the door when you're talking to somebody on the phone? What's a great way to get them in the door? What's a great way? What is a great thing to say? to get them to go from hello on the telephone to hi, I'm here for my 230 tour. What could you say, what could come out of your mouth to get the traffic in the door? Who wants to take a stab at that? That's wonderful special we're having that's limited time. So we have to kind of have to act soon to take advantage of them. Say that again. The so one on free special to take advantage of that, it's a limited time to create um, a sense of urgency. We've got a free special. We got to take advantage of that. Is that what you're saying? Correct. Yes, with a limited time available for, for a sense of security. Limited time available, free special. How's that working for you? It's, it's working pretty well. It's working pretty well. Yeah. Okay. I think it might be working despite the fact that we're saying it, but that's just me. And let me explain, okay? Most important life decisions. Moving is one of them, okay? They're gonna have to go to bed there every night. They're gonna have to wake up there every morning. And when we say things like, hey, I have a free special. It's a limited time. All we're doing is relegating ourselves to what? Price. Price, 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 and price. This is what I would call a race to the bottom. Okay, I'm gonna say that again because it's really important. Because there's a lot of communities running a lot of races to the freaking bottom, right? I'll beat the guy across the street for a limited time, limited time only, I'll waive your security deposit, limited time only, I'm gonna drop $50 off the rent, limited time only, you're gonna get upgraded to whatever, okay? It's not skillful, sorry, it's just not. Lowering your price and giving things away for a limited time is a race to the bottom. Eventually, you'll be at zero. Here's the other problem with saying, hey, our price is really great right now. Can you come in right now? Okay? This thing, your mind, they can't read it. Okay? Unless they were on X-Men and they have some sort of clairvoyant capabilities, they can't read your mind. They don't know if this is the best price. In fact, I don't know if it's the best price. I don't think you know it's the best price. I think when you come down to it, you're like, eh, it, it's not, but it's what I say. And when we lead with, if you get in here right now, you're gonna miss this special, the person goes, we'll see about that. <laughs> I bet you in two weeks it's gonna be better, right? All we're doing is pushing on them. You need to come in here right now. You need to get in here right now. If you don't get in here right now, you're gonna miss out on this special. Okay, what I would like you to try doing is I'd like you to try, forget about your price. Forget about your specials. There's a time and a place to use those. On the phone call is not that. What's most important to you? What's your biggest reason for moving, right? When you say you're looking for more space, unpack that for me. Oh my gosh, my daughter doesn't have her own bathroom. I got glitter all, glitter all over my clothes. And I'm spending like 20 minutes in the car to work. Where do you work? I work at Anadarko. They're right across the street. I know, that's why I called you. Man, you know, because of the fact that you told me you got, you need to get your daughter in her own bathroom, totally get it, totally understand. And you're tired of sitting in the car, sitting in traffic. I think I've got the, because of the fact that you said that, you know, I think I've got the perfect place to show you. It's one of our larger two bedroom floor plans. The second bathroom's awesome. And again, you could leave your car right here in our 
secured parking lot and, and, and walk over to work, does it make sense for you to swing by today? Does it make sense for you to swing by today? Is the exact opposite of, you gotta do this right now, it's a limited time. Okay, I am a black belt in jujitsu. I train jujitsu with professional UFC fighters. Okay, I spend a lot of time getting my throat choked and my face punched. And I will tell you this, as somebody that has over 10,000 hours of combat experience, across the board, when you push on somebody, they push back. When you push on somebody, they push back. You've gotta get in here right now. You gotta do this right now. If you don't take this apartment right now, it's gonna be gone. You're creating an environment of hostility. You're creating an environment of combat. You don't realize you're doing it, but they're gonna go, oh, well, we'll see about that, right? And nobody likes to buy like that. Slow down. In life, guys, important things. Getting a lease, getting a date, getting a promotion at work, getting your kids to do their homework. In life, anything of substance has this in common. When you slow the process down in the beginning, you will speed up the result in the end. And if you guys are just talking to somebody on the phone, not listening to what they're saying, not digging in, when you say uh, you don't like your current place, can you give me a specific example? Yeah, it's just bad across the board. B bad across the board? Yeah, the service is bad. I'm sitting in traffic. My car got broken into. Hopefully, sword, shield. You're writing all that down. Service is bad. Sitting in the car. and You know, because of the fact that you told me it's a nightmare where you're at right now, you're sitting in traffic all the time. Your car got broken into. You hate the fact that your current kitchen is so small you can't even open the cabinets and the dishwasher at the same time because the doors bang into each other. Because of the fact that you said all that, I, man, I, I've, got a, I've got a couple units that I think might be the perfect fit for you. Um, I, I'd like to, I've got a few things I'd like to recommend. Does it make sense for you to swing by today? Okay. When I ask you if something makes sense, I'm not asking you to do anything. I'm not pushing, putting any pressure on you. We're not starting any fights. Okay. When I ask you if something makes sense, you can clearly see where we're headed. And when I ask you if something makes sense, you can not reject me on doing the thing I want you to do. Come and take a look today. Why? Because when you say, does it make sense? You're asking them a timing question. And the only thing that they can say to that in the negative is not right now. Sounds like this. Hey, because of the fact that you told me you're tired of spending all that time in traffic and we're right across the street from your office. Listen to my voice. Listen to my tonality. No up talk. No, and because of the fact that you told me our super great apartments, we don't want to do that. We want to stay cool, calm, and collected, right? This is not a sticker or a taco or a margarita that we're selling. This is their home, okay? So we're going to be cool, calm, and collected. Because of the fact that you told me you want to drive to work, uh, you don't want to drive to work, you want to be walking over to work and your daughter needs her own bathroom. You know, I've got a couple places that I think might be the perfect fit for you. Does it make sense for you to swing by today, right? No. Got it. What's a good next step? Could we just do the lease online? Absolutely, right? Stop thinking negative, right? What's a good next step? I don't know. Point the question at yourself. Well, what's a good next step for me? Well, I don't know. I still need to look around. Totally get it. Makes perfect sense. Listen, I, I want to just make sure that we're clear on something. We're totally gangbusters here in the leasing office. Everybody wants to live here. We're really close to fully occupied. I, I do have one particular uh, unit in mind that I'd love to have you look at, but um, you know the probabilities of that unit getting leased here uh, within the next day or two are relatively high. Um, I understand that, that you want to think about it. For some reason, we lose that one. I'll, I'll work with you to find the next best one. Fair enough. And if for some reason our community is totally filled up, which most of the time it is, um, I do have some sister communities. Some of them are relatively close to where you work. I can make some recommendations there. And if our entire portfolio is filled up, I, embarrassingly enough, I nerd out on apartments and can help make some recommendations with some of the competing properties in the community, kind of get you to that next best level that way. Okay? Nobody wants to be sold to. And when you say things like, 
Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, the clock is running. You guys don't want to be sold like that. You really don't. Think about the purchases that you've made. Do you really want somebody going, you got to have this right now. You got to get this right now. If you don't get this right now, you're going to lose it. But when you just change the words that come out of your mouth from, if you don't grab this right now, you're going to lose it to no sweat. I get it. It's an important decision. Based on everything you told me with the situation with your daughter, with the wanting to walk to work, with the tired of having to worry about finding a parking space and your car being on the street and getting broke into it, I, I think we found the perfect place for you here. But again, I'm not the one living here. It's you. You're the only one that can make that decision. I just want to make sure that I'm clear. The particular unit that we have in mind here, it's probably going to get leased. But if it does, no sweat. I'll work with you and find the next best one. Nobody on planet Earth wants next best, guys. And it's far more professional to say, hey, I understand. I will work with you to find the next best one if we lose this one. To which you're going to have a 900% better feedback, better response, better the, wait, whoa, 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 wait a minute. I, I don't want the next best one. I want this one. I totally get it. That's why my suggestion is that we get you in here today. Right? Because I have four tours today, every single person, we're very limited on our availability. Out of the four tours that I have personally, plus I have three other people on my team that also have three to four tours each, every single person that comes through today is going to go through that floor plan that I am going through with you right now. Does it make sense to get you in here before they're in here? Yeah, it does. Well, actually, you know what? Can you just FaceTime me on it? Absolutely. Right? How, what do I need to do to lock it down? What happens next? I'm going to shoot you over the application. We'll get started on that. Congratulations. You made a great decision, right? And you guys are like, apartments don't get leased that easy. Of course they don't. Because when we talk to people, go call your competition. Apartments don't get leased that easy because we don't shut up long enough to learn what's going on in that person's life. We don't give them an opportunity to ruminate on the ideas. We don't give them an opportunity to weigh the consequences of not taking action. What we do across the board as leasing professionals is try and push somebody into something when they're not ready to be pushed into it. If you can just slow down for a few minutes, ask skillful questions like most skillful question you could ever ask in your entire leasing career, just out of curiosity, what's your biggest reason for moving? Uh, I just need more space. When, when you say new, more space, can you give me a specific example? Yeah, I'm working from uh, home a lot now. I have a new job. I'm doing Zoom meetings and I'm um, uh, doing it on my bed. Mirror, mirror, mirror. Mirroring is repeating back the last one to four words that somebody spoke or a, last, a select set of one to four words. Doing Zoom meetings on your bed? Yeah. It's, not good. Not good? Yeah, my boss saw that not only my bed wasn't made, but I have Batman sheets. And now my entire company knows it. Gosh, put a label on it. Sounds like, seems like, feels like. You can even do smells like. Not in this case, right? Seems like you need a proper office. Tell me about it. <laughs> I'm be they call me the Dark Knight at work now. Ugh. Sounds awful. Yeah, it is. It is. Next call, next big group call is coming up second Tuesday of next month. And my lease is up right before then. I got to take care of this. I have no doubt you have to take care of this. Based on everything that you're telling me, I do have two things that come to mind. And just out of curiosity, because you have to do it in a bed, is it a studio or a one bedroom that you're in right now? Uh, it's, it's, it's a really small one bedroom. That's exactly what I was thinking. So I have a larger one bedroom that there's kind of a little nook area with a built-in little bookshelf kind of thing in the corner. What a lot of our professionals that have to work from home do is set their desk up in that corner. I don't read a lot of books, but you can get some on the cheap, make it look like you're studious, right? You can set up a nice cool background, you're good with the Zoom. The other thing that I, I'd love to show you when you get here today 
is I do have a two bedroom that is like the worst floor plan for a roommate situation because the second bed, the second bathroom is just kind of off on the side and there's, it's, there's no shower or anything in it. So if it's a roommate situation, each person doesn't have their own bathroom. It is an ideal floor plan for your situation because you could put your desk in that. Right? And it's actually priced not that bad. It's kind of in between our largest one bedroom and our larger two bedroom. Does it make sense for you to swing by today? Yeah, absolutely. Man, I'm already feeling better about my situation. Totally. What time works best for you? Um, two o'clock. No clicking away at the keyboard. Okay? No clicking away at the keyboard. Oh, let me see. How about 4.15? Right? Sorry. And I know you guys are doing this right now. I'm just trying to make your life easier. You're not going to listen to what I'm telling you right now. Two o'clock, two o'clock. No problem. I'm back to back to back on tours. Okay. That, that slot's been filled for a long time. I understand your situation. I don't like the fact that you're being called dark night. We're going to make it happen. Okay. We're, we're, I'm on the case. Okay. The, the bat signal has been launched. Let's get you down for two. Okay. If for some reason, I am running late or for some reason I go into my computer after this and look and see that I'm quadruple booked and we need to move something around or again like I'm running late which I won't be if I am I'm talking five minutes what's your mobile number so I can text you and let you know I'm running a few minutes late so you're not killing yourself trying to run red lights to get here right at two. Oh yeah my, my mobile's 303-803-7372 write it down 7372, perfect. Hey, Tommy, along those same lines, if you're running late, which is perfectly okay, again, everybody wants to live here. I'm slammed on tours. I still haven't even looked at the schedule. But if there's if any reason at all you can't come in at two, would you do me this courtesy and call me here at the leasing office and let me know so I'm not kind of pushing the person ahead of you that's signing their lease out the door a little quicker so I can get to you? Yeah, absolutely. Look at what I just did there. Look at how much urgency I created without having to say, I'm running a special and tick tock tick that ends in five, four, three, two, one, right? None of that. Calm, cool, collected, right? Urgency. I'm back to back to back to back on. What, what's your availability on tours? I haven't had availability on tours in six months. Okay, We're, this is the place where everybody wants to live. I understand your situation and I want to help you. When can you be here? Well, two is ideal for me. Got it. I've got it written down. Haven't even gone to my computer. I'll go look, but let's make it happen at two. Okay. I'm going to move some stuff around. Heck, I might even have one of my maintenance people showing some apartments. Okay. But I'm going to do whatever I can to work with you personally at two. If for some reason I can't make that happen or for some reason I'm running late, which I won't be. If I am, we're talking five minutes. What's your mobile so I can text you? And then along those same lines, if you're running late, which is perfectly okay. Look at how I'm balancing this stuff up. If I'm running late, which I won't be. If you're running late, which is perfectly okay. Would you do me this favor and call me here at the leasing office so I'm not pushing other people out the door when trying to make that two o'clock that you're not, that you're running a little bit late for. What have I done there? I've created tremendous urgency. I've created tremendous attention to my apartment community. And guess what? I guarantee you guys, probably at a 60 to 73% clip, people are showing up late to their tours. Nobody shows up late to my stuff because I say this, if you're running late, will you call me? And now they have a vested interest in showing up on time. Why? Everybody wants to live here. Why? I'm back to back on tours. Why? I took the time that they wanted. Why? I'm doing something special to carve out some special time for them. And you guys are like, well, that's not how it works. I click away at my keyboard and look for special times. And that's why you're not 100% occupied, right? Like, I, I don't know, I'm not trying to like say you're doing anything bad. You're doing things great, guys. You're doing things how every other leasing consultant does them. But if you can just simply change little things like this, bam, lease, bam, lease, bam, lease. Because there's a buzz, right? I got two tours going at the same time. Guys, as I mentioned to both of you on the phone, man, we are slammed. Everybody wants to live here. This is Becky, my associate. Becky, who do you need me, need money, mo? Becky, you're going to take Ron. R what's most important to Ron is Ron needs his own office because Ron's doing some Zooms. Ron will keep the details between you and I. Ron needs a proper office. Becky, I want you to show him 401 
and I want you to show them 302. Ron, 401 is the one that we talked about on the phone where you're going to have the nook. And then 302 is that second bedroom with the with the smaller office, Becky's gonna Becky's gonna show you both of those. Mike, Mike, I'm gonna show you uh, that unit that we were talking about, where you can walk over to work at Anadarko, and that your daughter's gonna have her own bathroom. Right? Let's roll, guys. Let's roll. Right? Boom. Does it make sense to sign the lease? Yeah, it does. Does it make sense to sign the lease? No, it doesn't. What's a good next step? I don't know. What's a good next step for me? I don't know. I get it. I can't hold this particular unit. As you know, we're, we're slammed on tours. Ron might even take it because of his situation with work. I can't hold this one if we lose it. I, I will work with you. My team will work with you. Becky's here to help to find the next best one. Fair enough. Well, I don't want the next best one. I want this one. That's why I recommend we move forward with signing the lease. Yeah, let's go ahead. You know what? Let's, can you guys do, do you guys have any specials? Can you do anything off the rent? No. Right? Or if you guys want to still play around with the specials you're doing and race to the bottom, do you have any specials? Yes, I can give you $75 off. Just make sure that you realize, okay? Specials are cool. Specials get people excited. But about 30% of the time, the special costs you a sale that you would have had without it. I'm going to say that again because it's really important. I'm just laying out the rules for you guys. You guys can choose what game you want to play, okay? But rules are rules. And rules and games have rules. And here's the rules with specials. Sure, they can be helpful. Sure, they can get people excited. Absolutely, they can get people through the door. But 30% of the time, you're going to take somebody who already would have done it, and the minute you offer a discount, special or promotion, they don't do it. Why? They were sold before. And now you're taking all of the value that this is the best place, this is amazing. I can't believe I have a shot at this. These bookshelves are going to look perfect behind my calls and my Zoom. I am finally going to have a proper apartment. 30% off. What the hell was wrong with this place? What was I thinking? Was I making a mistake? Is this not as good as I thought it was? You know, we are getting ready to have the holidays. If they're doing 30% off right now, I wonder what their year-end promo is. I could live on my friend's couch for a month, ride this thing out. Maybe it's going to be 40% off. And you guys are saying to yourself, that's ridiculous. It's not going to be any better than that. How the hell do they know that? How do they know that? And then once they sign their lease at 30% off or whatever the $30 off, whatever it is, I don't care, a dollar off. Once they sign their lease, guess what else you've done when you bring them in on a promotion? You've made it exponentially more difficult for you to get the renewal. Why? Janet Jackson is why. One second. Janet Jackson in the 90s is why. Were you getting ready to sing, Janet? You can if you want to unmute yourself. You know what I'm talking about. What have you done for me lately? Bump, 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 bump. When you close a lease with a promotion and it comes renewal time, they turn into Miss Jackson, if you're nasty, in the 90s. What have you done for me lately? And you best come up with an even better promotion, special, or whatever to get the renewal. Because games have rules. And the rules are, in that game, if you want to do business with me, you need to give me something. That's the game we're playing. We're playing give me something special and I'll do something for you. Okay? I prefer this game. I understand you. I know what your biggest reason for moving is. I know what's making you uncomfortable right now. I can help you get a better life here. Does it make sense for you to improve your life by living here? No. Got it. What's a good next step then? Well, I don't know. What's a good next step for me? Call me Wednesday. Perfect. Makes perfect sense. I'll call you Wednesday, 2.30 p.m. If I haven't heard from you before then, I just want to make sure I'm clear on something. When I call you Wednesday, the likelihood of the availability of the piece of, of the real estate that we're talking about right now, the apartment that we're talking about right now, that all that's going to change, right? I have this that's perfect for you based on what you told me. I have a perfect home to recommend to you right now. We're a little bit different than the other communities. Our stuff doesn't sit on the market very long, but no sweat. At Wednesday, I will work with you to find the next best one. Fair enough. Well, I don't want the next best one. I know. 
does it make sense for you to come by today and take a look with this one while it's still here? Yeah, I can come by it. Well, wait a minute. How many tours do you have today? A lot. I, I don't know how many. I mean, we, but we're back to back to back on tours. Could I, I you know what? I could, <clears throat> I'm feeling a little sick. PTO day. Um, could I come by right now? Absolutely. Let's make it happen. Right? How, when are you going to be here? I'll be there in 15 minutes. Awesome. Okay, I'm gonna make everything, I'm gonna do everything in my power to be there in 15 minutes. If I'm running late, what's your mobile so I can call you so you're not killing yourself? We're trying to slide into the parking lot in 15 minutes. Yeah, it's 303-803-7372. Awesome, Matt, got the mobile. I'm gonna text you if for some reason I can't make it happen in 15 minutes. For some reason you're running late, you get hung up or boss says you can't take the day off, will you do me this favor and, and call me so I'm not like pushing people out the door because as soon as we hang up the phone, I'm gonna start moving people around to get ready for you in 15 minutes. Yeah, absolutely, I'll do it. Thank you, by the way, thank you so much. Thank you so much for helping me. Uh, it's my pleasure, this is what I do all day, every day. I'll see you in 15, awesome. Hey, just out of curiosity, what do you wanna see first when you get here? Fitness center, why's that? Uh, I hate my, where I'm working out right now. They charge me 300 bucks a month and I'm, I'm hoping you guys just have a treadmill or something. I just wanna do a little bit of cardio. I'm tired of paying Barry's boot camp $300 a month to have me jump up and down on boxes. $300 a month? Mirroring them, repeating back, yeah, it's insane. Yeah, that's money you could put towards a nicer place. You know, I didn't even think about that. Yeah, that is, that's 300 more dollars. I just found 300 more dollars by listening and asking questions. The competition is going, I've got a special right now, get you $50 off. I'm up 300 on my side, they're at 50. And I haven't given anything away. And I've already found $300 worth of more value. Here's another way I can find 300 more dollars of value. How long are you spending in the car? A long time. When you say a long time, unpack that for me. How long? Uh, about 30 minutes every day. 30 minutes each way or round trip? Well, each way. You're sitting in the car for an hour every day in good traffic. How much do you spend on gas every month? 550 bucks-ish, I don't know. It's like 110 every time I fill up my tank. I fill up my tank four or five times a, year, a month. God, you ever thought about walking to work? I mean, I'd love to. That's why I called you guys. Yeah, it'd be nice. No stress. No sitting in the car. Extra 500 bones in your pocket. Does it make sense for you to swing by today? I mean, if you're at work, you could, you could walk over. Yeah, I can walk over right now. Cool. I'll make it happen. I'm back to back to back on tours. Just have a little bit of flexibility with me when you walk in. If you're running late on, or you're, you start to walk over and somebody grabs you in the office, will you call me here in the leasing office and, and, and just let me know so I'm not kind of shuffling people out of the way? Yeah, along those same lines. If, if I, for some reason something happens on my end and I got five tours in front of me, what's your mobile so I can text you so you're not like hurrying over here? Yeah, absolutely. Thank you. 303-803-7372. Get nobody talks like that. Nobody acts like that. Um, so that's what I want you guys to try. I want you guys just to slow down in the beginning. You will speed up the results in the end. But unfortunately, everybody in property management has been taught it's all about you being the smartest person in the room. It's not. It's all about you being the most excited and positive person in the room. It's not. It's all about you trying to understand that person in front of you. And along those same lines, in, if you try and understand them skillfully, guess what they will do? They will start to understand themselves. And when people understand themselves, guess what they talk a lot less about? Price. The way people rent apartments has changed. Today's renter has access to more information. Today's renter has more choices. The apartment industry needs you. Studies have shown that moving is the most stressful life event. The old sales training, well, it just doesn't work today. I'd like to teach you how to take the stress out of leasing apartments in a way that's meaningful to you and your renters and get you seven times more leases. I'll show you how the perfect leasing process works. I'm gonna walk you through everything from answering the phone to closing the lease. I'm gonna show you how to determine your prospects' wants and their needs so that you can build value in your apartments. You will learn how to handle any objection or complaint. I'm gonna show you how to connect with your renter so it's easy for them to rent with you. I've taught the best property management companies and thousands of people just like you how to lease apartments. Property management is complicated. I'll simplify it for you. 
There's more competition than ever before. I'm gonna show you how to be number one. All of a sudden, your career, it's gonna make perfect sense. Even if you've never worked in sales or property management before. And for the advanced property manager, I'm gonna show you how to take things to the next level. Leasing University is a new, simple, step-by-step -step process that's effective. We're gonna help you become a rock star in property management. I'm Matt Easton, and this is Leasing University.